And everyone, I will be reading our Bible reading for tonight, which will come out of Genesis chapter 13. And it, Abram went up out of Egypt, he and his wife and all that he had, and lot with him into the south. Abram was very rich in cattle, in silver and in gold, and he went on his journeys from the south even to Bethel, unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and Haggai. And he went on his journeys from the south even to Bethel, unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and Haggai, unto the place of the altar which he had made there at the first. And there Abram called on the name of the Lord. And Lot also went with Abram and flocks and herds and tents. And the land was not able to bear them that might dwell together. For their substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was a strife between the herdmen of Abram's cattle and the herdmen of Lot's cattle. And the Canaanite and the Pesazites dwelt there in the land. And Abram said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my herdmen and thy herdmen for we be brethren. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me, if thou wilt take thy right hand, the left hand, I'm sorry, then I will go to the right, or if thou depart to the right hand, then will go to the left. And Lot lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere, before the Lord destroyed Solomon and Gomorrah, even as the garden of the Lord like the land of Egypt, as thou cometh unto Zoar. Then Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and they separated themselves the one from the other. Abram dwelled in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelled in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent towards Sodom. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. And the Lord said unto Abram, after that, Lot was separated from him. Lift up now thy eyes and look from the place where thou northward and southward and eastward and westward. For all the land which thou seest today will I give it into thy seed forever. And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall the seed also be numbered. Arise, walk through the land and the length of it, and in the bearer of it, for I will give unto thee. And then Abram removed his tent and came and dwelt in the plain of Mamre, which is in Hebron, and built them an altar unto the Lord. Amen. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. And that will be our Bible reading for Tuesday night. I pray that all is well with everyone. And as we go into prayer. Father God, I just give you all glory, honor, and praise. We just thank you tonight for the reading of your word. I pray, oh God, that it's manifested. I pray, oh God, that it's used for your glory and for your honor. I pray, oh God, that you would bless everyone who is listening and reading the word with us tonight. God, I pray that we will apply it and we would study it and learn it and get to know it for ourselves. So God, we just thank you tonight. I pray that everyone has a peaceful night's sleep. God, I pray that you would do what needs to be done in every life that is listening tonight, oh God, and every, that you would just make ways and meet needs, oh God, and just have your way. Continue to pray our strength in the Lord and as we continue to lean and depend on you. Father God, we just thank you tonight and we give you all glory, honor, and praise. It's in the name of Jesus. We all pray and say amen. Okay, good night, everyone.